Dr. Linda Aririguso. I am alumni of DeBakey. I graduated in 2005 and I'm currently a general pediatrician. Hello, my name is Reese Collins and I'm currently a senior at DeBakey High School. Hi, ah, it's nice to meet you. Uh, you just said that you graduated in 2005. Mm -hmm. I was born in 2005. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, so um, could you let me know about how your experience was when you came Yes, so my time here at DeBakey was pretty interesting. I think going in, I wasn't too excited to become a DeBakey student because I knew they were gonna study a lot and um, the whole idea of like studying a whole lot, um, maybe not having the different lifestyle that some of the other um, high schools had, I was, I was very excited. But once I got here, I was able to really benefit from all of the dare I say academic work, I was able to find some really good friends and really get exposed to the healthcare professions just like as advertised. So I do remember, um, you know, mixing up different agar plates. I remember the phlebotomy, the going to the, the hospitals, newborn nursery, and really getting a lot of exposure um, to the medical professions that I think really benefited me because I got to learn early on that, oh, this is something that I really could do. I could see myself doing a lot of these different things. Um, so what got you into medicine, specifically your specialty? Yeah, um, I would say, I mean, I always enjoyed science. Biology has always been my favorite. And then learning about the human body has been particularly interesting. And I think being able to put the art of like interacting with people and caring for people with the science is really, it's, it's, it's a good fit for medicine. I would say that is what has drawn me to medicine. Um, and my particular specialty, I'm pediatric, so I just like the challenge of dealing with different age groups. Every age group has its different um, developmental stages and issues, and being able to kind of play with the child, play with the family to get what's best, uh, to do what's best for them is, is great. Um, and I also like being able to be a part of the family. As pediatrics, it's not just about the children, it's about the whole family ultimately. So it's 2022 right now. In five years, it'll be 2027. Yes. Okay. So what do you see yourself doing or in 2027, five years from now? In 2027, I would say I probably see myself um, maybe in medical school, hopefully. I do plan, <laughs> I do plan on going to medical school. Um, uh, I'm hopefully graduating with um, a degree in bioengineering as of right now. And as of now, I plan on maybe specializing in obstetrician and gynecology. And so in five years, hopefully just really or staying on that pathway and still being very passionate about it. I don't wanna, that's the one thing that scares me about like Growing up is just, I hope that I really don't lose the passion that I have now for medicine. It's based on, I don't know what happens in life or if it gets too difficult, things like that. I mean, there's so many things in life uh, that can be thrown at you. And it's important to kind of step back whenever things get really hectic and think about what you really want and how far you've come. So I think, um, just keeping in mind like your goals and aspirations and also um, realizing that you have value in whatever field you choose, wherever you go, um, and fighting for that. Um, when things get really rough, um, just remind yourself, why do you want this? And just think about, you know, what is to come after that hump. 